Hi guys, my name is Amber and you are here with Fostering Crochet. Long name about why it's called Fostering Crochet with Amber Allen. I am a military brat, traveled most of my life overseas, and then I became a foster parent in my 40s. I'm in my 50s now and fostered a lot of kids, really loved it, didn't know how much I loved it, wish I had done it earlier. But I adopted four children out of the foster care system after fostering for many years and they're the loves of my life and I'm a grandmother one of them gave me a granddaughter last year December the 1st so she is six months old please you see that don't bother that don't bother with that this is the pattern I hope you can see it I hope it all fits in the screen it is 27 by 27 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain 28 single crochet and second chain from hook and single across for 27 chains. And we're going to do that one, two, three, four times. Now, this is my not blocked, not blocked bobble. It's a butterfly. I love using up my yarn. Now, because I lived overseas, I had a lot of friends uh, scattered throughout the United States and even some still in Germany and Spain where I spent most of my youth. Uh, up until I was 25, we moved back to the States with my husband, who was also in the military, and that's all she wrote. So I've been gone for more than 25 years because I'm in my 50s now. I'm in my 50s now. One of my best friends growing up, met her in Spain. We moved to Germany together. Well, we didn't together. We were stationed there together. I don't know how to explain that. Uh, but she, on base at the BX, the base exchange... We had a lot of Red Heart Super Saver. So I love Red Heart Super Saver. It is. And my kids are yelling. So I know. This is my very first. Please, God, if you can bear with me. Ah, thank you so, so much. Very first. And my camera is shaking. And we're going to work on that as we go along. Uh, this Red Heart Super Saver is probably 20 years old. If more. I don't know. Lavender, I'm sure they still make this. I'm sure they still do all of that stuff. I don't know. I have 11 of them. She gave me 11 of them. 11. I'm telling you. Where is the damn end? Oh, look. I made a slip knot already. Look at me being all kinds of cutesy and ready. Sort of. Kind of. Right? All right. Let me see if um, we can take this away. So take a picture. Take a picture. I'm going to put it at the back of the video too. And it will be my thumbnail. And I'm going to fold it because <laughs> we are going to be working on the first four rows which we're going to chain 28, single crochet, second chain from hook, and continue, and we will have a total of 27 single crochets. Let me see if I can, boom. Hey, look at that, isn't that amazing? All right, are you hold yours like a knife? Do you hold yours like a knife? Two, three, four, five, or to hold it like a pencil. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you can you stand the shaking? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ha ha! I'm counting to myself. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen, right? Uh, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. <gasps> 28. And then we're going to turn this over. Now listen, I have gobs. Gobs are this four worsted weight. I have Mainstay. I have Bernat. I have, uh, I have lots of savers. I have lots and lots of savers. Savers are inexpensive. And let me tell you something about saver. Mmm. Mmm. I needed that coffee. Um, super saver. I made a blanket, which I will show in, in a, in an upcoming video. I've had it for 15 dang years. I've washed that thing, I can't tell you how many times. And it has held up. It's just a basic circle, not circle, square. And not quite granny, because I didn't do the three, chain one, three, yeah. Um, but I'm gonna show it on a, on a video. Okay, if you really want to, you can go into the back bump. I don't, because I'm actually gonna go around this. So if you see in this one, I crocheted a border all the way around this one because it's easier to attach squares with a beautiful beautiful border okay second 
second chain. I'm actually going to hold mine like a knife. It's not the way I learned, but I do notice on some of these stitches, if they're just your basic stitches, it's just easier to do this. You have more control with your finger here. Just stick it in there. I only go through the first top loop and do a single crochet and I'm going to do a single crochet all the way to the end. Yeah, I'm going to let you know that my favorite thing is a turning chain. I love turning chains. I am madly deeply in love with a turning chain. So I will continue all the way to the end and I'm going to chain one and then turn. Hey, let's finish that one up. So give me a minute for you a half a second. For me, three minutes, maybe not. That actually took me 90 damn seconds. Can you believe that? Look, you know and I know that that first row for the love, right? For the love, it takes forever. So don't forget that this is right there, right there. You see that right there, right there, right there. You see that? That is, uh, uh, get in there, get in there. Uh, yeah, don't forget that one. All right, we're done. Chain one. Holler, turn, and we're going to go right back in there. Some people don't. They go right there. I'm not doing that. I love it right here. Just tighter, neater, I swear. Hey, by the way, you love my background? You love this little marble? That ain't real marble. You know what that is? I got that for seven, uh, three. I don't even know. It's a stick and peel thingy, my job you put on your shelves. I did that. So we're going to go across again. Look, let me tell you. Let me just do another one, and I'm going to show you. Look how beautiful that is when you have that turning chain. It's just gorgeous, right? It's just, I love this. It's just like straighter for me. I, I love the turning chain. Count. Always count. So let's go and do this. So this is row number two. We're going to do it for row number three and row number four. And then we'll come back and start working on the butterfly. Y'all, I'm sorry. Y'all, I'm still sorry about that fountain. Where did I miss a stitch at, you guys? I counted 26. I gotta go back and redo it. So I'll be back again. I just did four and I was counting. I'm like, oh, that's not right. I only did 26. <sighs> Here we go. Let's pull it out. Can't believe I had to do that again. Cannot believe it. Okay. 27. Come on, you can do this. And then chain one. And then we're gonna turn. Look, it's curling out on me. Uh. Curling out, curling out, curling out. All right, so we did one, two, three, four rows, right? So now we've got these four bobbles that we have to do. Those four bobbles are, you see, seven single crochets in a bobble. Then we're gonna crochet in the next one, and then we're gonna bobble in the next one, and then we're gonna seven in the next single crochets, and then we're gonna, I'm telling you, bobble, and then we're gonna crochet. Over the, all that equals twenty-seven. So seven bobble one bobble seven bobble one bobble seven. That'll be the end. That will be the end. And let's show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna keep the directions like right beside me because <laughs> yeah. Remember, this is the first one. We chained one, but that's still the first one. Because look at that beautiful edge. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So we're gonna do one, two, three. I know you can count, but you know, I need to do this. Four, five, six, and seven. And you know that the counting gets louder when the kids start talking to you. Because you're like, uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and I'll get to you when I get to eight, nine, ten. Uh, and then we're going to work a bobble. Okay. Not everybody does their bobble the same. Just FYI, this is how I do mine. It's, um, it's like a half double crochet, but not completely finished until the end and when I have five loops on my hook so I'm going to yarn over which you guys already know uh go through there pick up a loop I'm gonna take it out now normally I would go through all three to do a half double but I'm only going to go through the two see isn't that beautiful two on my hook so let's do it again round her over insert pull up a loop just go through those two that's it that's all you have to do let's do that again Yarn over, go through, pull up a loop, boom. Two more, and we're just going to go through those two. Look, I did it. Sometimes I have to fiddle with that. Four loops on my hook. Let's do it one more time. 
go through, pick up a loop, bring it back, and pull through to hallelujah. Look at that. Five beautiful little, little loops on my hook right there. Now, I'm going to yarn over one more time, and I'm going to pull through all of them, all of them. Now, I'm going to push it a little bit because I like it a little bobbly. I like it a little bobbly. And then I chain one. People, some people just go straight into, they don't chain, they just go right into here. I chain one. I don't know why I chain one. I saw somebody do it one time. I was like, oh, I like that. I chain one and it's just a habit now. So you don't have to chain one. I chain one. There's your bobble. And then it says oh, one single crochet. That is your single crochet. So broom, let's do this a single crochet and let's do another dang bobble. Another dang bobble in this one right there. Yarn over. Here we go. Go through, pull up, go through two. You've got two on your hook. Do it again to pull through, pull through two. You've got three on your hook. Oh, my wee little daughter. She wants to come in and talk to us. She's, do you hear that knocking? Open the door slightly. I'm going to finish this bobble. What is it that you need, Gloria? I want to learn how to swim. You want to learn how to swim? Again, you mean? But differently. Oh, swim differently. Like a mermaid with my feet stuck together. What? A mermaid? Read the feet stuck together? Um, okay, I'm finished with this bobble. I'm going to pull through all five of the loops. I'm going to secure it. I don't know why I do that. I just do. Because look at that little bobbers. Isn't it so good, sirs? We'll talk about it, but um, I'm going to finish this, okay? So, thank you. <laughs> and then I chain one. Now, my directions say do seven single crochets. Can you shut my door? Seven single crochets. Hey, the joy of single motherhood. Love it. So we're going to do that. One. Remember, I'm counting for me. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, seven. And then we got to do two more bobbles, but we're going to do one here, a single crochet there, and a bobble there. So remember... Just go through those two, right? So you're yarning over, you're doing that, you're going through, and you're going through the two, right? Yarning over, going through, picking up, going through the two only. Going, doing, one more time. Hello, five loops. Let's go all the way through. Tighten it. I did. And boom, single. Uh, what's that called? Not a single crochet. It's called a chain. So this is the single crochet, y'all. I love the single crochet. I call it my mighty single crochet because it's awesome. Let's just go ahead and finish the row. That way I can show you what the next row is. And we can speed up a little bit more on the further rows that we go. We got to do another one though. We got to do another one. So let's do it. Yarn over. <laughs> go through. Pick up. Go through two. Yarn over. Go through. Pick up. Yarn over. Go through two. Yarn over. Pull through, pick up one, go through two after you yarned over, and then yarn over, go through, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You've got five on your hook, and we're going to go yarn over, pull through all five, squish it, and chain one. <laughs> I'm going to show you what the end looks like. So we're going to go one, it's seven by the way, two, three, four, <laughs> Both loops, both loops, y'all. Both loops, both. Four, five, six. That's not two. Six. That's still not two. Six. Come on, man. Sit. There we go. This is number seven. And then you're going to go up. And then you're going to do this. Now, no, we're not going to do bobbles on the side because bobbles only go one way. Bobbles only go one way. And that's away from you as you're making them. Bobbles only go one way. Right? Bobbles only go one way. So I'm going to show you something. Every other row, you have a bobble row, and then you have a single crochet row. And then you have a bobble row, and then you have a single crochet row. Until you get to the end of the bobble rows, and then you have four single crochets, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there. So, let's do a single um, row, a single crochet row, and I'm going to show you what we do with these bobbles as soon as we get there, okay? We're going to do with this. We're gonna, we got this. Remember, this is your oh, right there. So we got to go in one, right? So let's go two and three, four, 
and five. How does it like? Is it making you seasick with the camera shaking? I'm probably I gotta have to secure this. This was a four four ninety five at Walmart, and I had to jerry rig it and hook it up and have something attached to it. Okay, so this is one right here. See that? Do you see that? You got that right? So we've got this one, but this one, this one, this one right there. Did you see that one right there? Do you see it? I see it right there. That's one. That's one right there. Don't forget that one. You forget that one? Oh my gosh! You're not gonna be happy. You're not going to be happy. Now, you see those two loops right there? That was the chain one. I'm going through those. That's what I'm doing. And there's one right between there, too. One right there. See it? Do you see it? I saw it. I got it. Boom. There's two loops. Turn it. Find your two chain. Two little... There you go. See? Do you see that? People call it loops. Whatever. I made it from doing a chain one. So, that's what I'm calling it. Don't forget this one here. The one right after that is one that's one right there right there right there don't forget it just count just count make sure you have 27 27 is a monotonous number i love it it's my birthday month my birthday day this month in june hey look at that yep still in my 50s that's what it's still gonna be like still in my 50s okay so we're back again that is one right there don't forget it that's one go on the top of the bobble go through those two right? Don't forget it. Oh my God. No. And I'm telling you that because I keep forgetting it. No, I don't keep it anymore, but I did. I do sometimes, not often, but I got to remember right there. You see it? You see that? I see it. Can you see it? I see it. Okay. Purple's a really good color, isn't it? It's not my favorite color, but it's a really good color. Oh my gosh. I really, really like it. Look at that. So you guys uh, hung out with me through that single chain, single chain, single row of crochet, single row of crochet, single row crochet, you know what I mean. Chain one and turn. All right, here we go. We're going through another one. All righty then. So we've done this row already. Of course, we did the single. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five. And that one is, booty, 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 boo. We're on this one right here six single crochets do a bobble four single crochets and do a bobble one single crochet do a bobble one more single crochet do a bobble do four single crochets do a bobble six single crochet. this is just easy written for me this is definitely not a written pattern because it would say something like six or single crochet in the next six stitches in the next stitch make a bobble stitch crochet uh four single crochets in the next four it's good. It's good. So it's long. It's long. So this is just easy. And I have a grid right there. I have a grid. X means single crochet. That little box means a bobble. So let's work on it. You've got it. 6B, 4B, BB, uh, 1B, uh, 1, 4, and 6. Okay, so let's work on this. And I will be back after, not this row, but that row. So we can do this three right here. Oh my God, you're going to love it. It's going to be parties. And I touched the dang camera again. Okay. I got it. So I've got this row and this row. This row and this row. Oops. Har, har, har. So I'm going to take the bottoms. And then we're getting ready to do this. And this is the row we have next. So let's cross it out. Oh, look. We only have three. One, two, three bobbles. What is that? Seven, seven, and seven? Nope. It's six, 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 and six. So six bobbles, six bobbles, six bobbles, six. Six bobble, six bobble, six bobble, six. That's what we're doing next. All right. Work with me. I'll be right back again. Oh, cr seasickness. Really? I hope you're okay with that. Done. All right. So we did three rows. So this is what it looks like now. You see the bottom of the, you see that in that prettiness? Super duper cute. Now we're going to do, so we did that row. Now we're going to do this row. Do this row right here. I think that's seven, five, five, seven. Let's see. So we're done with that row. All right, so it's seven. Can you see that? Seven, bobble five, bobble five, bobble seven. I promise you, I'm gonna fix this. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. So in a set, the next seven, do a single crochet. Then the next one, do a bobble five after that, bobble five after that, bobble seven to the end. So let's work on this one right here. I'll be back then. Oh my gosh, it's looking good. 
So we're getting ready to do this one right here, but look what we have. Look at how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Listen, if you don't have 27 on each side or 27 all the way, it's not going to look like this. You will know right away if you miscount. You will know right away. All right, so the next one is, oh my God, four, four, nine, nine. <laughs> Look, it's two lines. Oh my God, it's two lines. That's, oh my God, oh my God, oh God, it's two lines. You see those two lines? I'm gonna, I'm right-handed, so I tilt everything to the right. Look at that. Okay. Zoom in, take a picture, do whatever you can. Four single crochet, one bobble, one bobble, one single crochet, one si Listen, four. B1, 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 B2, B2, B1, 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 B4. That's a lot. That's nine baubles. That's going to take a minute or three or maybe five. Well, but you know what? I'm going to work on that now. I'll be back when I'm done. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. 20 minutes in. Look what we've done. We just did that row. So now we're right here. How pretty, pretty does that look? This row's fairly easy. That for that's easy. That's just cake. That's cake from here. So we've got five baubles in the next row to do. And this is the row. So let's get rid of it. Oh shoot, we got another two liner. Okay, this one, five bobble seven bobble one bobble one bobble seven bobble. Oh, that's a three, y'all. Three, bobble, seven, bobble, one, bobble, one, bobble, seven, bobble, three. That's the great thing about this butterfly pattern. It's just the same on both ends. It starts with three, ends with three. Bobble, bobble, next is seven, next is seven. Bobble, bobble, one single crochet, one single crochet, bobble. So it is, you know, if you can look at one side and finish it the other, it's very symmetrical. So I am going to do the next row. And y'all, y'all can read that I like this this is easier for me in most cases i can read patterns very 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 well with bobbles i need the visual i need the visual so i'm going to keep it on this side and i will meet you back when i'm done with that row do you see that do you see how party parties that is so we just got done with that row right there right and we're getting ready to do that row now this row is another two liner it is only seven six eight blah, eight bobbles but I'm telling you, it's cake from here. Cake. Look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous. It's wonderful. I love it. So I'm going to do that row. This row with the eight. It's a two-liner. It's a two-liner, y'all. Let me cross this one out. Which one did we just do? We just did... Which one did we just do, y'all? We did the one, two... Shoot, we haven't even done that row yet, y'all. Have we even done that row yet? We did that one. We did that one. Crudness. I did this one. Right? This one, this one, this one. Shoot. We got to do this row. We ain't done yet. We got to do this row. We still got to do this row, y'all. Darn it. All right. So this row is... Can you see that? I don't even know if you can. Please bear with the seasickness. Okay. Seasickness. I know. I want to figure that out. We're going to do three again. So three, we're going to start off with three single crochets, then a bobble, five, then a bobble, two, then a bobble. Then we're going to do that one, that's going to be blank in the middle, bobble. And then back to two, bobble, five, bobble, three, bobble. So three with the five, bobble, five, then two, and then that one right there in the center, that little single crochet, that little honey bunny single crochet. So we're going to do that, and that is this row right here. Three, bobbles, five, here. Then the bobble, then the two here, and that one's going to be empty in the middle. So we got that. So I'm going to work on that one because I thought it was cake. It's getting cake. It's almost cake. I'm getting there. <sighs> Can you imagine what would happen if I missed that little honey bunny? That would have been terrible. That would have been terrible. Okay, so this is the row that we just did right there. See that? The two in the center, then there, and then that all the way at the end. So it, it looks, it's getting there, right? Doesn't it look gorgeous, gorgeous? It's a little curly on the end. It's a little curly. You have to flatten those in and square them off. Yes, we are. It looks so pretty. Love it. Next one is another long one. It's another, another long one. See that? Three, 
then a bobble, one, then a bobble, one, then a bobble, three, then a bobble, three, then a bobble, one, then a bobble, one, then a bobble, three, then a bobble. My God, that's long. But look how pretty that is. It's this right here. It's this right here. She goes out three, and then, you know, singles between those three, and then three, and then see the three. Oh my God, it's gonna be gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. You can print this off so that you can follow along or just do it on your own. Whatever you decide to do. But I'm getting ready to do this whole row right there. Then I will be back. Did it. This one was a long one too. Not as long as this one, but it was pretty long. So here we go. Look at that. Yay, it's so pretty. Not quite there. Getting there. Getting there. I'm going to have to white out. Get this done. But you can see, right? And I keep bumping the thing. I keep bumping it, but oh, we got two more bobble rows to go. So we've got this bobble row here and then this bobble row here. Cake and cake. And then we got four up there. So I'm going to do these two. And I'm going to show you real quick what they are. Okay, so let me show you if I can do. All right. So let's do this last row. So I did a row of single crochets. Remember, each between here is single crochet. So I'm going to do. A 10, a bobble, a 5, a bobble, and a 10. Okay, so write that down real quick. 10, BB, 5, BB, 10, BB. I mean, 10 single crochet at the end. And then the last row will be 7, BB, 1, BB, 7, BB, 1, BB, 7. 7, then 1, then 7, then 1, then 7, separated by bobbles. All right, so do those two rows. I will meet you back. It'll be so good. It's only like a second and a half. Okay, so that is that. Let me turn it upside down. Here we go. There it is. Oh, I just bumped my camera again. There's the wee butterfly. So what I did was I finished this row here and this row, and then I did four up. So I finished this row and this row, and then I did the four up. And now I am done with that four. So you're going to see that the edging looks really, really good. But I'm going to attach these together. So I'm going to make my edging just, I'm going to just single crochet it all the way around. So what I do is I am going to chain two. I'm going to chain two. Let me move this out of the way. So I don't need that anymore. It is done. I'm going to chain two as soon as I bring you in. Okay. Seasick, remember? Seasick gonna happen all right so I'm at the end number four it's all the way at this side now no bobble showing I'm gonna chain two you guys are well aware of chaining because you do it every time you turn the thing I'm gonna turn it Let's move my pin out of the way I'm gonna turn it and then I'm gonna put it in this space right here you see that space right there just pick a space just pick just space it single crochet just put it in there Find another space right there. I found one right there, right there. Just take the spaces all the way down. All right. And single crochet. You should have about 27. It does not have to be perfect. Look, you can barely see the other thing, but you're going to go in there anyway. Okay. Mm, excuse me. Coffee is good. Coffee wonderful. Um, just go all the way down. If you just want to hang out with me and go with me, you can. The video is almost 30 minutes. You think we can make it under 30? I bet you we can. I bet you if we did it really well, we could. I bet you. I usually uh, crochet close to me, but I'm actually crocheting on the table, which, hey, by the way, is kind of not easy to do. So kudos to everybody who does the uh, crochet tutorials because it really is uh, not as easy as everybody makes it out to be or it appears to be. I don't know if anybody actually makes it look easy, but it does look professional. And mine is so uh, little seasickness, right? A little seasickness. It's all right. You got a little seasickness. So let me go. My daughter is knocking on the door and she's going to wait one more second until we round this corner so I can show you what we're going to do when we round the corner, okay? So we're almost there. Give me a minute, Emily. So let's go here. Almost there, not quite. There is a space right there. You see that? There's a space right there. We're on a corner and we're gonna crochet. I'm sorry, chain two. You can wait. No, you may not. That's what she gets for interrupting. Poor baby, I feel so sorry for her. Not, 
I am going to actually hide this when I turn that corner. So this is your very first row. Look at that. That is pretty easy to see. Chain two, just keep going all the way. Hide your tail. So you only have to like sew in one tail. But you should have two because we only did the first. So you should have two. Can you see the two? I don't know if you can with that tail in the way. But go all the way to, in, to the end. Make your corner with a chain two and I will meet you at the very, very, very end. Okay? All right, let's slip stitch into the last one. All right, so here's the deal with this one. Everybody that I've noticed, chain one, pull through, they're done, they cut. No, 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 I chain two. I don't play. This thing is gonna be secure. I don't, I don't know if it's right, I don't care if it's right. That's what I'm doing, I chain two. That thing makes a knot that, God forbid you make a mistake and have to do, because that's secure, it ain't going nowhere. No, no, nowhere. So here is my butterfly, and let me, boop, there you go. There it is, my beautiful, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll put it in. I'll put that little honey bunny in, but look how pretty pretty it is. Can't see it all, can you? Can't see it all, because it's that big, it's that big. But look at the edging. Do you see, all the way around? It's gonna be so easy to attach when you have those single crochets all the way around. Love, 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 love that. But I've got two of them now, two of them, and I'm super excited. I am wondering, okay, it's upside down now. I'm wondering, look at that. You see that? Look at that. I think I can get at least maybe one and a half more out of there. Oh my God, I hope so. It's a little dark in here, isn't it? Yeah, I did all the lights different. I want to thank you very much for watching that video, my very, very first tutorial. Very excited. Emily, who interrupted me a couple of times, is very excited too. 50 something years old, remember. Need those glasses. <laughs> so, what do you think? I liked it. I liked it too. You want your lollipop now? All right, go get it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye. Wait, Mom, you remember what we say at the end of the video? I apologize. We want to say to you, smile big. And often.